and love to all the guys and goddesses and all the high vibrating species on the planet man what it is how we're living chomping some grapes sorry me and the grapes again mm. welcome back to the challenge you know how we living Hey man, I saw this. I saw this SCP. I'm like, man, what is that? I, I'm like, dude, look like a uh, Bizarro mixed with with Frankenstein, mixed with with Igor, goddamn. <laughs> I hope everybody good out there, though, man. Yes, sir. I'm doing. I'm doing as well. Thank you. I'm doing as well. But we finna check out this uh this SCP over here though, you know what I'm talking about. We got Hookah's trees and SCPs. But right now I'm chopping on these grapes. Um we got SCP five four two. I'm not even gonna try to say that. Cause I know that ain't how, how, how you say it. I'm not even gonna you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> we just gonna get to what it is that we do. Academates peace. Welcome back, salute to you. If you're new, like, share, and subscribe. No pressure. Totally up to you. Um, if y'all have any requests, be sure to send them through. Other kind of mates will let you know. We run those through. Okay? Up to you. In the meantime, in between time, let's get to what it is that we do. Bus. I'm telling you, bro, bro, look like bizarre. I'm Superman. Good afternoon, everyone. Hey. My name is Dr. Miller. Oh, got a new call. And the SCP we're going to be looking at today is SCP 542. What Object mean, class what the unnatural. What the Euclid. What, what, what the little bruh. Special Containment ah. Procedures SCP-542 What happened to him? Like all them deformities, man, what happened, man? I don't even want, I don't even want, you know what I'm saying, draw no speculation or no conclusion, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to assume nothing. Damn, bro. I don't see no stitching. I don't see it. You know what I'm saying? I can't say he necessarily Frankenstein up around his mouth. So he he definitely on some um on, on some ethiotis from goddamn three hundred around his mouth. Look like he can get his arms up a little higher though. Who <laughs> is to be kept in an eight by eight meter room with small adjoining bathroom and may submit requests for furnishings, barring anything that could be modified into surgical tools. Notable requests by SCP-542 include One queen-sized bed, no blankets or sheets, bare mattress. Approved. Two large work desks. Approved. One large wardrobe. Approved. A selection of heavy coats, lab jackets, and pants. Approved. Several full-length mirrors. Denied. A selection of sewing supplies, along with bolts of cloth. Approved initially, but revoked after Incident 542B-3. Several large bookcases filled with anatomy and medical texts, both old and new. Approved. A chess set. Approved. Blank page notebooks and various writing utensils. Approved. 
Regular supplies of German language crossword puzzles. Approved. Industrial grade deep sinks. Denied. Steel nail file. Denied. Given wooden sandpaper emery board and replacement. Nail clippers. Denied. And access to his personal surgery kit. Denied, except in cases of testing. See addendum. The room is to remain locked, deadbolted, and barred with a leak. I mean, so y'all don't go in there and clip the boy nails for him? Or y'all just let his nails just grow? Just grow like that? You know what I'm saying? That ain't right. Yeah. These two Class D guards are man a manicure, my pedicure. SCP 542 is to be fed two meals per day, sweet, delivered right? by Class D personnel, and as per request, must be given a transfusion of fresh blood, one pint, any type, per week. Damn. When SCP-542 oh, begins bad. to yeah. suffer from organ failure, he may request a fresh organ to be supplied, and Foundation medical personnel will sedate him and perform the surgery. Despite constant requests, SCP-542 may not be allowed to perform invasive surgery upon himself except during observed testing. Old and discarded organs or tissue are to be collected for testing. In the event that SCP-542 should escape confinement, SCP-542 may be subdued by high doses of tranquilizers or disabled via a net. Should he come into possession of any knives or shards of glass or mirror that could be used to cut, non-lethal fire is permitted. Description SCP-542 claims that it has been, at one time, a typical human of Caucasian descent, identifying as German in nationality. The story is supported by the fact that German appears to be his first language, speaking all other languages with a German accent. SCP-542 requests to be called Herr Chirurg, or Surgeon by Staff, and is fluent in German, English, and French and can speak a small bit of Polish and Italian. Standard IQ tests have revealed 542's IQ to range around 150, placing him as high intelligence. It is unknown how old 542 is. Testing of various tissue samples has revealed nothing. He claims to have been dreadfully normal before World War I started, and claims to have worked for the party even if he found their goals boringly simple. He has been described as Frankenstein's monster in appearance. SCP-542 may hide his odd features under heavy clothing, but prefers to wear only a nice pair of slacks, revealing his hunched form, distended gut, warped ribcage, and bizarre arm structure. His skin is made from patches of various hues and shades, some of these healed together with scars while others are still stitched together. Non-symmetrical bone and muscle structure reveals that he has replaced the majority of his body over time and admits to having worked with helpers before to replace such things as portions of his own spinal cord. Although his appearance can change with surgery, his arms are always too long for his body, and his hands have been modified greatly to have additional joints in the fingers. The skin is pulled rather tightly over 542's face, giving him a somewhat skeletal appearance, along with the tendency for his bones to bulge through his skin. His teeth, it should be noted, are collected from different individuals, some of them not even human, by all appearances. It is not uncommon for him to cough or vomit blood, and as such requires infusions of fresh blood approximately once per week. He currently boasts two hearts and multiples of several other organs and organ systems. How 542 keeps track of his own structure while performing surgery is unknown, but he likens it to having a very good memory. DNA testing on all tissues is inconclusive and reveals fragmented DNA. It is unknown how he is able to accept different blood types and multiple organs without suffering from organ rejection or allergic reactions, nor how he is able to function while performing invasive surgery on himself, even while inserting extra brain matter into his skull. SCP-542 is to be kept alive for observation and testing on the process that keeps him alive. 
SCP-542 behaves in a surprisingly pleasant manner most of the time, enjoying lengthy conversations about science and biology, politics, and long games of chess. However, when an organ begins to fail or part of his body becomes necrotic, he undergoes a drastic personality change, stalking and observing people from a distance. Additional information on his habits and attacks may be found in the addendum. SCP-542 appears to have a previously unknown ability to be completely aware of his body's functions and workings constantly. Even able to identify points of rotting or decay, he should not be able to sense by any known means. This ability, however, has been shown to extend beyond his own body. He can passively sense the health and medical status of other humans within several meters of him, the range extending to approximately five meters when he focuses. He admits that he uses this process, which he doesn't understand himself, to pick his next victims. Addendum SCP-542 has been proven to be the assailant in a string of 45 murders over the course of three years that occurred across Germany, England, and America, and is suspected of an additional unconfirmed we'll 15 around, right? murders in that time span. He was first observed four years ago by Agent in Germany, after four people had been attacked and had muscle, sinew, and bones removed from their limbs. Three of the victims died from blood loss and shock. The fourth happened to be staying in the hotel room next to Agent who intervened. This account may be found in Incident Report 542-A06. SCP-542 has a strong connection to a collection of scalpels, blades, syringes, and various other surgical equipment from time periods ranging from modern day to archaic, if very well kept, relics from years as early as the 1910s. He carries these in a velvet-lined, black leather suitcase, and modifies many of his jackets to have holders to hide and carry his equipment in. He is not allowed access to this collection except during testing and observation of self-surgery. SCP-542 has also caused several deaths of D-Class personnel, even when not in testing, due to negligence or assumption that certain items may be safe when used by him. Personnel are reminded that even if his personality is pleasant the majority of the time, he will still dissect personnel for amusement oh, and curiosity's yeah, sake right. if given the chance. <laughs> These incidents may be reviewed in Incident Reports 542-B-01 through 542-B-11. Seemingly safe items <laughs> such as sewing supplies have led to him making more than a rather well-tailored jacket for himself but also resulted in him restraining a Class D personnel by sewing him into the mattress of the bed before removing his kidneys and a portion of the liver. Damn. SCP-542 has shown to be very willing to comply with certain experiments and appears to enjoy performing self-surgery with someone observing, explaining what he is doing and displaying his knowledge of the workings of the body as if he were a teacher describing a surgical textbook. Unfortunately, this usually requires being at a risk of attack from him. It has been requested that SCP-542 be kept alive, so the process that allows him to recover from intense surgery without organ rejection be studied and potentially copied for medical use. SCP-542 may also show potential for being used to assist in surgical and studying endeavors due to his increased intelligence and compulsion for dissection. Any books and notes written by him may be accessed and studied by those with Class II security clearance or higher. And this is update 2000. SCP-542 has somehow acquired knowledge of both SCP-291 and SCP-1025, and appears to be very interested in their use. All requests to study both anomalies are to be denied until further notice. Incident Report 542A-06 Agent while staying at the hotel in Germany, heard the sounds of a scuffle and screaming from across the hallway at 3 a.m. local time, at which point he felt he had to intervene, unknown that he would come face to face 
with a possible SCP. After forcing the door to his room, he observed SCP-542 removing the muscles and bone of Mr.'s right leg. After the agent fired several shots, 542 fled through the window and agent contacted. Hey, that boy don't waste no time, do he? He gets in there, he get busy. Immediately. Local authorities and an ambulance. An American tourist who had only been in town for a few days described what had happened to her while recovering in the hospital. Afterward, she willingly took the amnestic issue to her, preferring to believe that she had instead been in an unfortunate traffic incident and her right leg had been amputated. Her report is as follows. I had been to Germany before. She said she rather not believe. <laughs> and I was used to taking the only one to remember I saw him there, I think. Just this guy all hidden under heavy jackets, and this hat, and glasses. And of course, I was suspicious, because it was summer. You know, sweltering hot. And I realized he was looking at me. But I ignored it. He didn't get off the bus at my stop anyways, and there were always others on the bus, even late at night. I guess I saw him for three days, and... I stopped thinking about it. He must have followed me off the bus that... that day. That night. I went up to my hotel room and I don't... I don't remember. The window was open, and it was all dark. The light wouldn't turn on. I figured somebody had decided to steal my stuff, so... I went in to see if anything was missing and... ...shows signs of intense discomfort, and asks for a minute to compose herself. This is allowed, and she resumes after several minutes. He was hiding under the bed, and he had these freakishly long arms, and the fingers, too many joints, and he took my ankles right out from under me. He was just too fast, and he tied my arms and legs to the bed. And at first I thought, you know, that he was going to, you know. He kept saying things like, don't worry, and you're going to help me, and I need your help and things like that. It was scary as shit, and he said that so long as I kept quiet, he might call an ambulance afterward. And that was a little scary. I guess it really was worse than that. He picked up his jacket. It had been on the coat hanger by the door, and I hadn't even noticed it. It started pulling out all these knives and all these tools, and I just didn't know what to do. So I decided to take my chances and started screaming as loud as I could. Then he was allowed to stop there, and was delivered the amnestic and alibi that night. Incident Report 542-A-15 For details on the eventual tracking and capture of SCP-542, please refer to A request for declassification is under review. 2000 Note As of SCP-542 has been moved to Bio-Research Area 12 in order to assist in the Olympia project. Dr. Reitz has said, and I quote, I want it back intact. Further note, SCP-542 has somehow acquired information of SCP-291, 827, and 545. Investigation into the extent of 542's knowledge of these SCPs and how he acquired this knowledge is currently under investigation. Offending personnel will be disciplined appropriately following a board review. 05 I don't know about all of you, but um, I think using SCPs as surgeons is a really bad idea. Huh. Does no one remember SCP-049 breaching containment? <laughs> These things... You know what? I, I'm just gonna leave it here. Okay. Thank you all for listening, if indeed you still are, and you were all dismissed. Good. Dr. Miller, peace. I mean... Listen. The play Dr. Bruh. I wouldn't be playing with him, man. And I already see how he get down, bro. You, you know what I'm saying? You can just see him, you know what I'm saying? 
iron your ass, just stalking it, just, I mean, on you, boy. On you till he on you. <laughs> For real, on you till you on you. And you see how old lady got out, you know what I'm saying? Snatched her ass up quick. Yank, come here. You be all right. You be all right. You gonna help me out real quick. Help me out real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah you be good. I may just call the ambulance. But until then, you shut your face. I need something from you. But, hey man, hypothetically speaking, what if that really is Frankenstein, man? Or the Frankenstein's monster? After all the time. And that, you know what I'm saying? Like father, like son, right? That's all he know, you know what I'm talking about? He's still trying to figure it out. I'm just saying, what if? What if that was really the guy, y'all? I mean, he damn sure look like Solomon Grundy around this mug. Yeah, With a little bit of Dr. Hyde in him. And he been around for a minute too, right? Everybody say hey, he had some tools from 1910. Been around for a good little minute. Up there in Germany. Hacking in the slash. Hmm. You say he used to be somebody, huh? Hmm. He may be a splice victim, man. You know what I'm saying? You know them boy was doing a whole bunch of experiments up there in that cold weather up there. You know what I'm talking about? Back in them days, back in that time time. You know what I'm talking about? I wouldn't be surprised, you feel me? Wouldn't be surprised. I would, excuse me, I, excuse me, I wouldn't be surprised. And then it's crazy too, man, because you know what I'm saying, the throat chakra energy, you feel me? That, like Dr. Miller changed up the, uh, changed up the, his, his color, his skin, his, you know what I'm saying? It would normally be red. That root chakra, you know what I'm saying? Now it's blue. The throat chakra. So uh, I think I I think I think I think uh, it may be alluding to uh, some truth here, somewhere along the lines. You just have to use your intuition and your discernment to figure out which part is the lie and which part is the truth. Don't get the Frankenstein part, you know what I'm saying, diluted with, you know what I'm saying, fiction mixed with non-fiction, you feel me? The fact that they tell this story about this thing that just sounds so ridiculously crazy that you couldn't fathom it, you know what I'm saying, and all the other stuff going on in the world and all the other things that's going on, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be so quick to throw this one out, 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 the, out the door, you guys. But that's just me. I definitely will give it a second thought. You know what I'm saying? If I see something out there that just re reminds me of this thing, uh, you know, y'all know, I'm gonna spin the block, and be like, hey, yo, y'all remember, uh, y'all remember Frankenstein be here there? Yeah, 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 yeah. So how about <laughs> you feel me? I'm, and I'm gonna do it just like that, cause we, like I said, we're here at the end of the day. We're here, we're here to learn. We're here to, you know, what I'm saying, figure these things out. You know what I'm saying? Sir, there there are things hidden in plain sight, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to be one of those ones that, that miss out on, on, on every single thing. You know what I'm talking about? I may miss some things, but then again, if I don't see it, then it, it wasn't for me to see. Um, it And that's just what it is. Um, so I'm looking here because I guess, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, spirit got me over here. I just I just feel like there's something over here. And I've been, I've been able to connect my own little things in my mind and don't, my own little journey of you know what i'm saying figuring things out and seeing what things are you know what i'm saying and wondering where things would been coming from and da, 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 you feel me so i mean I, i'm enjoying the journey i hope y'all enjoying the journey with me you know what i'm saying i do really i do appreciate y'all joining me you know what i'm saying with this because uh some of the stuff that y'all put me on like it probably would have took me a minute before i ever even got there but now that y'all already done, you know what I'm saying, put me on, put me in the game with that right there. I'm like, oh, snap. Boy, this, 
it's on, you know what I'm saying? So we we been up in here just like really just like I said, flipping through them files, man. So if you rocking with me, man, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Keep your head on the swivel, you feel me? Don't forget to keep yourself protected spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Do not let the world drive you crazy, you feel me? Uh, watch out for dudes like this looking for, you know what I'm saying? Looking for your avatar, looking for pieces off your avatar so they can keep themselves going. You know what I'm saying? Because him and the plague doctor are not playing any games. They are not BSing with nobody, okay? Especially him. He get on you, he ain't playing. But see, at the same time, plague doctor, you know what I'm saying? Plague doctor get right up on you and just put the touch on you. Bop, gotcha, come here. Before you know it, you was a goner. You was a goner. But he seemed like he just going get, to get straight, straight, uh, what what's about the name Jigsaw? He gonna get straight jiggy with you. He he going he going for it. He coming for it. Or organs and all. If he got yeah, if you got that, if you got that, he want that. He gonna come get that. Man, hey man, head on the swivel out there, boy. Y'all better keep yourself protected, man. I don't, hey, I don't know. Hey, the the way she said he moved. Now she probably got she probably had slow mo uh, slow motor skills anyway. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, like she, like she, like spirit already dead. You feel me? Like you can't. You know what I'm saying? You didn't got to. The, you didn't got to wherever you didn't got to, and you couldn't even feel the energy out to tell that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody already slid up in that boy before you did, and this thing got the jumps on you. Blue, 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 blue. You feel me? And then, then, then snatch your whole leg off, and then you say you rather take the anesthetic. I, I don't want to believe that I just saw somebody just really just. Take the blade to my leg and just here. I need that. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to believe I saw that. <laughs> I see you. People like that's why they. You know what I mean? Y'all have a good one, man. You know what I'm saying? Peace and love to the guys and goddesses and the five vibrating species on the planet. We're gonna continue. <laughs> We're gonna continue to vibe high. You know what I'm saying? And Hey man, it may not necessarily be this dude right here. I'm just gonna say that it may not necessarily be this guy right here, but I'm willing to bet you. Even though I don't gamble, you know what I'm saying. I'm, but I'm willing to bet you. I'm willing to bet you that there's a mother sucker out here like this somewhere. Maybe a couple mother suckers like these out there somewhere, running people down, snatching them up. Using body parts, man, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy, bro. Like, we need some more backstory, man. Let's get another backstory on this dude. Like, he said he used to be human. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, where did you reside? Where did you work? You feel me? Like, what happened? You know what I'm saying? What do you remember anything? Can you tell us anything, my boy? Anything. Like what in the unnatural f happened to you, bro? Like what the what what happened? Cause you ain't looking well. And then you then then you know what I'm saying you break it down like then they say he break down he break it down like so you you know he ain't got company you know he be alone he's alone so of course now he's in a place where people can watch him so he's 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 happy to tell you what he's doing, but it, like like you say you get too close he come here. Yeah, I need that. Yeah, yeah, I needed that. I needed that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you be yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now watch this. And it's like you now you now you like you 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 appalled like uh another D class cleanup. Did I mean did you 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 see what I'm saying? It's it's some type of situations like bro, like that's why I be like D class, D class, D class, D class, D class. Come on, y'all. <laughs> now, now I know some of y'all probably just be throwing yourself away because it's like, man, I'm not finna just be going through this, man. The next little monster monster cage they put me in just just toss me in there, bro. I'm I'm going straight at him. He going to just do what he going to do to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not just finna be a prisoner. Now I I get it. Now if if that's what you want, gang. Then go for it, gang. Get up out of there. Because I, I, you ain't finna hit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not finna just keep walking in the room with something like this. 
wondering, you know what I'm saying, what day, you know what I'm saying, what day is he going to really snatch my ass up? No, bro, you got me. And then they, then they got people around, you know what I'm saying, they putting bombs on on collars, you know what I'm saying, like like grenade collars and stuff on people. Like, bro, come on, man, like the, 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 the torture. Bro, for real, you got to put, you got to do that to somebody to get them to go in there, man. Why y'all doing it to people, man? Hmm. Like that's that's fucked up. I mean, would you do it? Obviously, you don't want to do it. So why the fuck you do this? Do this to somebody else? You know what I'm saying? Like that ain't that. Listen, dog. Uh, I, I'm just telling y'all, man. This like the stuff that people do in the street. Like now I know there's some heinous motherfuckers. And listen, now there's some people out there that done did some stuff. Now you you put them in there. They done did that type of stuff. Like put the monsters that 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 match the monsters. Like you don't you don't put a dude that just like kind of like I guess the, he blicked a couple guys, you feel me? And no no telling what the serpent said the the situation was with that, but he blicked a couple guys, and then you throw him to this dude right here. Like how in the how how is that even fair? You know what I'm saying? Like like how? Or any other damn things that y'all be putting D class in. <laughs> you know, because y'all be messing them up, bro. But see, sometimes, like I said, D class be fucking themselves up. Sound like, you, know, you feel me? Or some of them be doing it on purpose. Because, like I said, I be dang if I just. Do not. No. No. Help. No. I'm sorry. No. 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 Not with this. Not with no plague doctor. You know what I'm saying? Not with no 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 aristocrat. You feel me? No, no, god dang, no, no, no. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like like I would probably still be, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all would probably like, like I would probably still have a hard time going in with the with the with the with the dragon snails. And they they didn't look harm they, they didn't look harmless, um I mean they didn't look like they would they were down hurt anything. Hurt a fly. Well, Probably would they well wrong 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 choice of words okay they probably would hurt a fly you know what I'm saying they're probably about that size okay well they don't look like they hurt people but ain't no telling because you know what I'm saying the sludge may be some venom because you know what I'm saying you know you got little itty bitty frogs out here they just got this little, little, little this little liquid that's on their back you just so happen to get a little you know what I'm saying swipe of that and now your ass is paralyzed for about an hour or two uh, long enough for you know what I'm saying something big enough to eat your ass to come by and eat your ass you, you feel me it's stuff like that you see so no so D class man I don't, I, I'm sorry for what it's worth I'm sorry D class I'm sorry it's messed up I know I wouldn't want to be in your shoes I definitely wouldn't want to be in your shoes man I definitely wouldn't want to be in your shoes but Y'all say we tranquilize. Man, say obviously we can kill this thing. Then some seven six twos or some two two threes should be plenty for him, right? Y'all take him down with tranquilizer or a net because, of course, y'all trying to study him to see how he's standing alive, doing all this to itself. I get it. It's science. I get it. But for people like us, we it ain't science for us, man. It's survival. So I'm looking at the fact that hypothetically, if Buddy was real and he came at me. With you know what I'm saying, the Drake, do 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 do, and I should be straight, right? <laughs> I should be straight, right? I'm just saying. But anyways, academates, you know what I'm saying. Y'all be good out there, man. Peace, peace, peace and love to you. Peace and love to you. We we'll be back.